Hi and welcome to this brief clip. This was an unplanned video but it was just quite a coincidental thing. There was a thread on one of the groups a couple of days ago relating to a Seiko Bellmatic and that somebody had just finished servicing one and showed various shots including a time grapher shot. There were comments on that thread that mentioned that the lift angle was incorrect although the documentation that can be found for this movement states that the lift angle for the Bellmatic is 58 degrees. Um, but various commentary saying that it, that was believed to be incorrect according to information from the internet and that it was more, uh, it was closer to 48 degrees. Now it just happens that I have a Seiko Bellmatic on the bench that I'm working on and I thought this is an ideal opportunity to test it out using the how to calculate lift angle method as I explained in an earlier video which in essence is you fit the movement to the time grapher you wind on enough power that you get approximately 180 degrees amplitude which is relatively easy to see in the grand scheme of, um, of watching a balance oscillate and also made easier by using your slow motion function which most cell phones now have and then you match that to the time grapher by adjusting the lift angle until it represents um, approximately 180 degrees amplitude and this will give you a correct reading. So without further ado let's hop over to the bench, we'll take a look at the movement and we'll pop that on the time grapher and see what results we get. So down here on the bench we've got the Seiko Bellmatic movement as you can see. And this one's a little bit tired and, uh, and it's getting a bit of TLC and has a bit of a lacklustre amplitude but it's perfect for finding out the actual lift angle. So what we're going to do is mount this into the time grapher stand and I'm going to wind this via the mainspring barrel until we get an amplitude of approximately 180 degrees and that is to say that the it needs to swing 180 degrees in both directions. So from your rest standpoint here, it needs to swing a full 180 degrees that way and a full 180 degrees that way, giving a total of 360. And this is where a lot of people have a bit of confusion when it comes to calculating the number of degrees of balance swings. When speaking about the number of degrees of swing of a balance, you're talking about the swing from the point of rest. From where the roller jewel is moved via the pallet fork and swings in this direction and a good amplitude is at rest in a Swiss watch is known to be around 270-280 degrees so it's almost going all the way around from a point of rest and that will be the same or roughly the same in both directions. So we'll switch on the time grapher and first of all I'm going to set the lift angle to 58 degrees which is near enough the claimed lift angle and then going back to the movement we're going to start winding the mainspring I'm just going to give that balance a nudge to get that started Now we're not interested in anything else aside from the recorded amplitude at this point. So what I'm doing here is I'm turning the mainspring power until we get a visible amplitude of approximately 180 degrees. So if I put this at the rest position which is about there you can see that the balance arms are by the uh, the stud, the pinned stud. So we're looking for the other balance arm to match that. So as you can see, we're currently barely at 90 degrees there. So 
So after a little bit of twisting and turning of the main spring, I've actually ended up having to fully wind it and we've hit upon a slight snag. This, this poor Bellmatic is, is so poorly that with the, even with a fully wound mainspring barrel, we're only hitting about 135, 145 degrees on a full wind. Um, and this is the reason it's currently flat rather than facing you like so. So just quickly double checking and making sure that's settling back. It's not quite hitting a 180 degree marker and it's uh, it's sort of landing in between 90 and 180. It's about 135, 140 degrees. Now, if we look at the time grapher and we take a look at the time grapher trace, you can see the readings on there. We're getting a reading currently of um, of about 205 degrees. That might have just picked up ever so slightly, but, uh, but it's certainly not even hitting 180 degrees. I can still see that. I will slot in just here a little piece of slow motion footage, which I shot with my cell phone to demonstrate the actual sweep of that for you so you can see. So you can see the time grapher is reading currently around 200, 196 to 210 degrees, varying ever so slightly. The balance is actually swinging at about 140, 145 degrees. What I'm going to do now is change the lift angle to 48. And let's see what that tells us we're getting. And a 48 degree lift angle is currently giving us around 170 degrees, which frankly, I think is a little bit generous, if anything. So 164, that's probably more like it, 160-ish. Uh, and certainly looking at where the balance arm is coming to rest before swinging back, that's definitely, it's, um, yeah, I'd, I'd say 150-ish, 150-ish degrees. Uh, so 48 degrees is, without a shadow of a doubt, much more accurate um, reading of the lift angle of a Seiko Bellmatic. And 58 degrees is wildly inaccurate. Of course, when it comes to lift angle, the only difference this makes to the reading of your watch is the amplitude. It will not make a difference to the timing. It won't make a difference to the beat error. It won't make a difference to the daily rate. It's just purely the amplitude reading. But it is relevant in the fact that it's 10 degree difference. So if you're looking at Seiko Bellmatic, you've just serviced and you've got the lift angle set to 58 degrees, and it's telling you that you've got an amplitude of, let's say, 260 degrees, you're going to think, that's actually not bad. But in reality, you're probably only getting about 230 to 240 degrees. So it's important in that respect. Um, so that's essentially it for this little clip. And... Just thinking, has that picked up a little bit? That's currently telling us we're about 190 degrees. I'm going to take another little snippet of um, slow motion video at this point, and let's just see where that's sitting right at this moment. As soon as I get this, oops, as soon as I get this set up properly on my camera, slow motion, there we go. So, Bear with me obscuring the screen. The time grapher is currently saying 168 degrees. That might have picked up a little bit. Um, it might actually be giving us closer to 180 now. Um, but this particular little bit of footage that I've just taken, I'll pop in there.
but I can say with absolute certainty that the lift angle is closer to 48 degrees than it is to 58 degrees. And I hope this has been useful to any of you working on Seiko Belmatic movements and being unsure of that uh, lift angle. And if you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you, please uh, do me a favour, hit that like button and ask any questions in the comments below and I will try to answer to them as best I can. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.